What's up, you sick bastards, and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, we have a delightful little zombie flick straight out of Italy. It is Umberto Lenzi's 1991 under the radar flick, because nobody talks about it, but I love the atmosphere and just the general sleazy zombie nature of it. It is Black Demons. And this one's just fun, entertaining, strange acting and uh i love the zombie effects in it so let's just dive right in and get into this little underrated gem here is black demons black demons is a low budget zombie film that actually benefits from its low-key origins and amateurish acting resulting in a voodoo centric tale that relies heavily on its atmosphere and creature effects to carry it along in the most stupendous of ways Filmed on location in Brazil and directed by cult Italian filmmaker Umberto Lenzi, the movie is a mishmash of genre archetypes, infused with that nasty European horror flair which swept cinemas from the mid 70s through the late 80s and a trail of gore and guts. Shocking, surreal, and sometimes embarrassing, Black Demons is a unique entry in the zombie genre, one whose potent atmosphere and creepy aura still packs quite a punch. The film follows three college students, Kevin, Dick, and Jessica, as they travel through Brazil on vacation. After getting lost and seeking refuge at an old plantation, the gang unexpectedly awaken a small army of long-dead slaves through a bizarre voodoo ritual. Armed with siths, pitchforks, and knives, the resurrected undead slaves seek revenge for their deaths and deem the inhabitants of the plantation as the culprits to their plight. When it comes to the acting of the film, Black Demons is sorely lacking and pathetically dry, but that doesn't mean that there still isn't a huge amount of entertainment to garner from this enthusiastic zombie effort. In no particular order, the cast is comprised of a hodgepodge of under-the-radar performers who all bring a strange life to this reinvigorated zombie oddity. The central performers are Joe Belog as Dick, a curious traveler who accidentally raises the dead and sets this whole bloody affair into motion. Sonia Curtis as Jessica, Dick's sister and unexpected heroine of the film. Keith Van Hoven as Kevin, Jessica's boyfriend and total man of action. And Maria Alvis as Maria the housekeeper and voodoo practitioner. Each of these characters are a hoot as they stumble through lines and try to survive this bloody zombie tale. All in all, there is not one performance that really stands out from the bunch as outstanding. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a great deal of fun to be had with the over-the-top acting and bloody fun results. Where the film really thrives though is in its remarkable atmosphere and unsettling creature makeup. With the backstory of the slave rebellion some 150 years ago, the movie gives the location an unsavory creepiness that saturates the proceedings from the get-go and only cultivates as the undead corpses begin to rise and terrorize our lead characters. The zombie effects are extremely disturbing, as the filmmakers make an extra effort in realizing these rotting mounds of flesh as believable walking corpses. They are bloody, disgusting, and oozing with a chilling presence that perfectly mimics death as it slowly stalks its prey. Forget the atrocious acting and strange setup in general, and just relish in the otherworldly nature of the film as it tells its little tale of the macabre. Black Demons is a sadly underappreciated zombie flick, as it hit the scene just a tad bit too late to make an impact on the once thriving genre efforts of its predecessors. If you set aside the passable acting and just go along for the ride, 
the film proves that it has the atmospheric punch that is needed to bring about an unsettling tale filled with gory moments, spooky locales, and expertly crafted and imaginatively vengeful dead. In my opinion, that's all that is really needed in order to capture the spirit of this niche genre. If you're looking for a zombie film outside of the regular Romero Fulci ilk, then give this one a go. You might just find something that tickles your fancy and chills your bones. In the end, Black Demons is an extremely entertaining and horrifically morbid zombie film that is 100% atmosphere and completely non-stop strange fun. And there you have it, weirdos. That is the strangely um, underrated, like I said, Italian zombie flick by Umberto Lenzi, Black Demons. Just wickedly uh, cruel at times, some gory special effects, and just a weird seedy nature that a lot of um, 80s Italian horror films had at this time. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that wicked one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.